Hello guys, my name is Jorge Trujillo and I got graduated from your university, Global Logistics and Supply Chain Management, 2017. Guys, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the experience that I got when I was taking the course that you're about to take. The math is going to be the challenge that you're about to face. The math, the math, the math. Most of the time, I felt basically completely lost. Yes, and that is understandable and some of you guys are going to experience that situation because um, our backgrounds are completely different from one another. So basically when you're in the board and you have a professor that is like Aspen and he starts drawing their little equations and start explaining that everything is easy and digestible, well basically it's not. It's not. So you are going to find yourself struggling a lot to follow the classes and this is gonna be okay that's that means that you guys have to push yourselves into the library into the basics of math once i was done with the course which as a matter of fact i failed but then later on i took it as a challenge though and it makes me study even harder and i study my all my soul and heart into that exam which as a matter of fact it was better when i did when i did the retake once I was done with that, um, I had a chance to make an internship in Amazon. Um, this internship was really, really cool. In Amazon, as any other company, you have thousands of lines of data. Millions, I could say. But you cannot do anything with that data if you cannot make it speak. Let me tell you something. Big data, speak math. Just to tell you a little bit about the project that I did, they were trying to measure two different processes and how they react between each other. So basically what I did is like I started measuring in different points, different days that were comparable. And what I got is like a kind of like a scatter plot, which is a bunch of points for two different processes. Then what you do out of that is that you start drawing lines that makes those points speak. Those lines have mathematical equations and at the end what you try and do is trying to link them and the only way to link them is through mathematical equations now this is just one example and let me tell you something if you keep your mind open to the examples that are being handled in class you later on are going to be able to transmit that knowledge into your work into your projects the inspiration to create this model it was one of the examples that we saw in class it just basically lines and I start thinking yeah yeah lines I think I saw one of those lines in class I, I didn't remember how to do it but I was able to go back into my notes once you go through all this process you're gonna get knowledge that is really hard to replicate once you're out there into the field you're gonna be able to do things that no one else can so guys I just would like to wrap up this message letting you know that yes during this course you might feel a little bit frustrated, you might feel a little bit down because you have the anxiety of people going faster than you. Just focus, keep starting really, really hard and ask your professor for assistance about what are the topics that you should be focusing on. Remember that you are getting skills that are really rare are in the field. You are going to have competitive advantage for sure. And I really wish you the best, work hard play hard